From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Kanye Report. After a decade in design and construction, the Meerkat Radio Telescope, which is located about 90 kilometers from Carnarvon in the Northern Cape, was inaugurated earlier this month. Simone Lietke tells us more about the step towards building an international enterprise. The Meerkat Radio Telescope is the precursor to the 10 billion rand square kilometer array or SKA, an international enterprise to build the largest and most sensitive radio telescope globally. The Meerkat will be integrated into the mid-frequency components of the SKA's first phase by 2020. The first phase of the SKA will see 133 dishes built in the Karoo Desert of South Africa by 2026. These will join the 64 dishes of the Meerkat array that have been completed at the same location. SKA Chief Scientist Fernando Camillo explains a little more about the science surrounding the Meerkat. The telescope was designed, was optimized back in 2010-11 to study hydrogen. To study, hydrogen is the simplest element and stars, most stars are made up of hydrogen and the galaxies are made up of hydrogen. Uh, and hydrogen emits very faint radio signals at one specific frequency in the electromagnetic spectrum that's 1420 megahertz so 14 times sort of fm uh, band frequencies but it's very faint so to detect it to study stars in the universe and galaxies you have to build uh, a very sensitive radio array like meerkat so that was one of the things that meerkat was optimized to do and why well because we don't fundamentally understand very well how galaxies like the milky way came to be. And the universe is 14 billion years old, our galaxy is roughly 10 billion years old, our solar system, the Earth, is 5 billion years old, but things evolve, of course. So the galaxies at the beginning of the history of the universe look very, very different from what they do today. So what was the history? How did we come to be here as we are today, fundamentally? So if you study the raw fuel, which is hydrogen, you can learn a lot. So Meerkat was designed to be, to be an optimal instrument to study various detailed uh, questions that surround the formation of galaxies and the evolution of galaxies and so on. At the inauguration event earlier this month, which was officiated by Deputy President David Mabuza, a panorama obtained with a new telescope was unveiled. The panorama reveals extraordinary detail in the region surrounding the supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way. According to Camillo, the center of the galaxy was an obvious target for demonstrating the science capabilities of the new instrument. This is an image of the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So we are in a spiral galaxy. We live roughly 30,000 light years away from the center where there is a massive black hole. It mean 30,000 light years means it takes light and radio waves 30,000 years to travel from that central region to us. We're all going around the center, all the stars. So the Milky Way, for I mean, the sun goes around the center of the Milky Way once every 200 million years. So since dinosaurs started evolving on Earth, the Earth has gone around exactly once, you know, this very far away central region of the Milky Way but with a black hole. Now, you cannot see it with your eyes. When you stand out in the night sky in the Karoo and you see the beautiful sky, when you use the SALT telescope, it doesn't matter, the most powerful, ordinary, visible light telescope in the world cannot see that very interesting, very special region of the Milky Way. Why? because there's too much dust between it and us. So it absorbs whatever light from stars that are behind it. And we simply cannot see, we will never be able to see it with ordinary light. But radio waves can penetrate all of that dust and all of that gas. So you can use a radio telescope to look deep into the, the core, the heart of our galaxy. Innovations and technologies such as the Meerkat creates a platform to enable future generations to learn, develop and innovate which Mubuza said will in turn enable South Africa to move forward in terms of research, science and technology. Further, about 75% of the Meerkat's components have been manufactured in South Africa by several subcontractors. Meerkat is a fully South African project, 100%, a project of DST, which will eventually be incorporated into the international larger telescope, which will be centered, one part of it, around, well, the Karoo right here. Uh, but it's fully South African and that's important. It's not only fully South African funded, it's by and large, more 75% or so, actually uh, money spent in South Africa by South Africans uh, on South African products, etc., etc. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.